John Higgins Mortgage One. Happy Monday. So another tough week for rates last week. That trend is continuing. We had some inflation information out last week uh, that continues to show that although the Fed has made great strides in bringing inflation down from its peaks, it's, it's really starting to stall out here as we've gotten around 3% and just below 3% on the inflation number. We know the Fed wants to go uh, and drive inflation down to 2%. And it's been sticky. Uh, we haven't made much progress over the last couple of weeks. The Fed had kind of telegraphed we might have three rate cuts. The market got all euphoric and, and was talking about six rate cuts. And the chatter now is that we'll probably get a rate cut before the election, maybe not anymore. So that kind of takes off uh, you know, the six rate cuts for sure, it puts us more in the two to three camp. There are a few people out there that are saying the Fed really should be raising rates right now because inflation is just stubborn. We need lower interest rates to make houses more affordable and, and drive sellers back into the market that uh, are unwilling to trade in their super low rates they picked up a couple years ago. So we'll see what the jobs number this week brings us. That is another very important aspect of the economy that the Fed is trying to, to basically break the uh, employment numbers and get them from numbers that have been ranging above 200,000, 300,000, get that down uh, closer to 100,000 or less. So we'll see what happens this week and we'll give you an update next week. But at the moment, the trend on uh, mortgage rates certainly is higher. We're, we're stuck well above 7%. Uh, most of 30-year mortgage uh, rates are, are sitting closer to 7.5% today. So we'll give you an update next week. Have a great week.